because I made a very terrible decision and I bought this Mustang like three days ago and I signed up for the demolition derby tour of destruction. Enduro, okay. and then if you want to do the flag pole race, that's just going around stuff. It's just extra. Um, don't worry about the next the other stuff. Back it up over there and just like, Pruh. and then for the uh, what's up, brother? Is this your car? You no, know, yeah, sir. Oh, you okay, can't race that car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Doing all right? He's always busting. Yeah. Uh, That's the so, Yeah, just take out the back, all the lights, mm -hmm. all the glass. Leave the front windshield alone. Um, and the you airbag. Go, baby. Yeah. yeah, the airbag. Make sure you disconnect. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, disconnect it from in there. The yellow wire. Yeah. Try to break the power. Yes, but the keys in there. Okay. And that's Six it. cylinder, eight cylinder. Six. Oh, that's fine. Eh? Uh, no, I got something for you. I got I'm not something for you. You're like a bus tonight. I didn't bring nothing. No? Oh, yeah. Between that and this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I paid $800 for this thing. We're about to strip it and into the enduro race and do a 50 lap enduro. Hopefully I survive. <laughs> you want my yellow car? Yeah. yeah. Let's get her done. Yeah. Back already hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You got you want this? It's too late. I think I have to follow through at this point. Yeah. Uh. You might blow this sucker up. It fucking sounds rough. Way to face my fears so that I've crashed a car before and I know what it feels like, so I'll be fearless after this. Mark it off the bucket list. <laughs> All right, so we gotta start by taking the windows out, so we're gonna smash those. We gotta relocate the battery from the front to inside the car. The next thing, oh, and we're gonna try to strip it all the interior as much as possible to get as lightweight as possible. So we're gonna take out the back seats. We're gonna take off the headlights, taillights, rear view mirrors. Um, I guess we have to put a hole in the hood because if there's a fire, they need to be able to get to it quicker. Hopefully they don't catch fire, but.
to my foot.
I was fucking like, hell yeah, full pedal to the metal. The whole entire time that I'm preparing the car, I'm second guessing all the decisions that have led me to this point. I was terrified going into that infield and lining up with a hundred other cars. It is the biggest group out of all of the races. A hundred cars trying to fit through a chicane at the same time. They literally rammed the hell out of each other and I got rammed maybe on my second lap. Somebody just completely ran me from behind because I guess I was going too slow between the like through the chicane my car has like 70 horsepower it feels like it's running on like four cylinders it literally was just fighting to stay on like the whole entire day we were having trouble keeping the car on 30 seconds before i went into line to enter the enduro with my car my car was dying so we were it was on the charger to the very last second i think i made it through a total of six laps me and my car pretty much just gave up on edge i kept like looking over my shoulder and looking back to make sure that like i wasn't cutting in front in front of anybody the car was just a lot slower than everybody else no rear view mirrors just so i don't get rammed again last lap that i did two cars kind of like sandwiged me pushed me to the barrier of the chicane be on this hill trying to start the car possible to get through the fire truck ended up coming around and saving me and pushing me through the chicane because they have to stop for the, the fire truck. I'm pretty sure that they just would have T-boned the fuck out of me. And I didn't feel like dying because I have to race World Sport Compact Challenge this week. As far as going to another event, first whenever I finished the event, I th thought I would never do it again. But looking back on it with a different game plan, I think I might try to tackle it again. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do the Freedom Factory that's coming up soon. At first, my car didn't make it through tech. List of things that we still had to do. We had like 10 minutes before school time. Literally, everybody from everywhere came and put hands on the car. I couldn't believe just like the teamwork and the camaraderie that was there. It was just amazing. Everybody came. Doesn't matter. Everybody came to help work on the car and get the car able to pass tech and be able to race. And I thought that was really cool. So I... I really like the community there. I think I will try another event. Hide myself up a little bit better because it is very scary driving. You definitely have to be tough to drive a demolition derby. <laughs> there a couple times. Somebody really ran 
me in the back end part of the video. This side was pretty good. The mash bar fell off here, and then I uh, hit somebody right there. Pretty good. Cool. Don't know if I'll be doing any demolition. All right, so that was crash Arama. I will stick to my Honda now or my drift car. They're a lot safer. But now to get this car ready for the event this weekend, I'm gonna finish cleaning out the injector, clean out the fuel, change everything, put it back down on the ground, take a test drive around my neighborhood to make sure the transmission, the differential is good. All right, so back to the regular schedule of programming. I will be driving my Honda at World Sport Compact Finals and I hope to see you guys there. Uh, scary. <laughs> you almost hit me. Yes, a good footing. No, I didn't fucking. <laughs>